Now in this video, we look at the mathematical expression for available energy. Okay, so for that, let's come to this diagram and then we'll discuss this. Okay, so in this diagram, you have a reversible heat engine which is working under two temperature limits Th and T0. Okay, now T0 is basically the atmospheric conditions. Okay, so before we go and discuss about this temperature, let me say that this uh, reservoir at a temperature TL, initially it is a TL. Okay, forget about T0. Right, so if you talk about the reversible work output, the reversible work output, this is nothing but the efficiency of the reversible engine into the heat that comes from the high temperature source okay so initially as i told you this is the tempera uh, temperature of the uh, sink so this becomes 1 minus tl upon th into qh now i wish to increase the efficiency or i wish to increase this reversible work output so what will i do i can only do two things either increase the temperature at which the heat is supplied or decrease the temperature at which the, uh, no, the heat is rejected. So assuming that this is more or less constant, let us reduce Tl to the atmospheric condition because you cannot go below the atmospheric conditions. Okay. So if you remember in the previous video, we discussed or we gave you a definition for a variable energy or a variability it is the maximum uh, work output obtained from a reversible system which is working at a given state under given conditions so under uh, under any conditions you cannot go below the atmospheric temperature so the minimum sink temperature that you can achieve is the atmospheric temperature under those conditions so i can replace tl by t naught so this would be the maximum possible uh, you can say efficiency which can be achieved under a given set of conditions okay so this this complete equation this becomes the reversible work and this is also called the available energy okay so out of this much amount of heat input this much amount of heat you know heat input this is the amount of work that we are getting okay so this becomes our available energy and also formally defining this available energy is that portion of the heat energy supplied yes it's a portion of the heat energy supplied okay it's a fraction of it to a reversible heat engine so this is the reversible heat engine to which we are supplying this heat energy okay which could be converted into useful work so that is the available energy okay now the next part if you look at is the unavailable energy okay so this is the heat that is the input to the reversible heat engine from this heat input you get some amount of useful work that becomes your available energy okay now there is some heat which is lost to the surroundings let me say this is qo the heat which is going to the atmospheric conditions which is which, which is being lost to the surroundings so this heat or this energy which is again a part of this input energy this is not being utilized to be converted into work so this is not available to us so this becomes are unavailable energy so the portion of the heat energy supplied which is not available for conversion into useful work is called unavailable energy so this is how we define it so this is the definition for available energy and the portion the portion of input heat energy input heat energy okay which which is in simpler terms lost to the surroundings because they, it cannot be recovered back okay which is lost 
to the surroundings is called unavailable energy okay so if you look at this diagram we know that below the graph of a ts plot the area below the ts plot gives you the amount of heat energy okay so let us say this is the th temperature this is the atmospheric temperature so below this you have the total heat energy so if you look at this area this is qh out of this qh this much energy is being converted into work this is being converted into work and this much energy is being lost to the surroundings so this becomes our unavailable energy okay so this is the concept of available energy and this is how you mathematically write it and the part which gets lost to the surroundings or is rejected is called the unavailable energy now before we move on to the next video a very small and a very important concept okay now this condition which is t not the atmospheric temperature means i will have also have to achieve the atmospheric pressure so the atmospheric conditions that is p not and t not we define them by this this state of the system is called dead state now why dead state okay now see initially you are at this temperature now from this temperature or from this state from this state if you bring your system to dead state you get the maximum possible amount of work output once your system is at this state there is no conceivable work output that comes out of your system okay so the work potential of your system reduces to zero and that is why this is called dead state so due to this potential difference you get some work output and when you drop your you know, your system state from the given state on to the dead state that is the minimum state possible that is the minimum value of temperature and pressure conditions which you can achieve or which you can drop your system to is called dead state and that would give you the maximum amount of useful work okay so this is called dead state so i hope now that you understood this entire video on available energy you understood the concept the definition the mathematical relation now after looking at this let's move on to the next video and talk about the term useful work